just over 100 students, 14 teachers, um, learning nine different instruments, music theory and ensemble coaching. Each child gets half an hour instrumental music lesson, one hour theory, uh, one hour choir rehearsal, plus a one hour ensemble each week. Um, and that's in addition to that, we have two early childhood development teachers at four local creches and two local primary schools who offer over 170 extra students a very basic um, education in music theory and practical through African song, dance, clapping, the use of recycled instruments, and that's age groups five, six years old. We are running a project called the ARCO project, which is in partnership with the Birmingham Conservatoire, which is Birmingham University in the UK. Um, 24 of our most promising string students receive an extra half an hour of tuition each week via Skype into our media room, which is a state-of-the-art um, room we've converted one of our practice rooms into. Um, also this involves uh, quartet coaching. Um, the potential of this is huge. We've seen in the last six months that this has been running just how much of a uh, positive impact it has on the children and how fast they are learning uh, with the additional teaching hours. And um, I hope that we can extend this project not just to include all our strings but eventually all of our students and several other um, institutions around the world. The main challenge that the centre faces is um, sustainable funding. Um, now we are firmly established with our 100 or so students, but we are running at capacity and we would love to find sustainable funding so that we can take a new intake each year, we can have a good flow of progress through the school and um, eventually have salaried teachers um, who, who can cope with the numbers of students we would love to work with. The, the majority of the costs here at the centre are human resources, so that's essentially the teaching hours and the management staff. Um, because we're lucky enough to have the building um, and each, each student has an instrument each that they take home and practice with and so on. We know certainly from, from response from the parents and the community that um, they are very pleased that their children are involved in things. Um, uh, one of the mothers saying, you know, if, if, if your child doesn't have activity, they can they end up on the streets and there are plenty of negative influences there and I hope we counteract those hugely for all the students we have at the centre. Uh, a lot of them are from disadvantaged backgrounds and I feel like we play a key role in improving their social development and long-term, you know, economic potential um, with, the, with the education we give them and the discipline and um, regard with, for community and, and others that I know that uh, they learn here at the centre. I'm very proud that you know, the children that come to the centre are, are obviously um, very diligent and very committed to, to, to the project.